activity, we are going to make some yarn feathers. You are going to need from home a pair of scissors. If you were able to get a craft kit, you will find in the craft kit a stick or dowel and some yarn. So if you weren't able to pick up a craft kit, then all you're going to need to do is find a stick and you can use a twig from outside that's nice and straight and then grab some scrap yarn. It doesn't have to be a full thing of yarn. It can be all the little pieces. All right, so to start off, you're going to want to make four feathers at least. So you're going to need four long pieces of yarn and then you're going to need about eight shorter pieces of yarn for each feather. So I'm gonna grab one longer piece of yarn and that length looks about good. So I'm gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna need about eight other pieces of yarn to go with this one. So I'm just going to grab some different colors that I have here and then you're going to cut these smaller. An easy way to do that is to wrap it around your hand and then you can just cut at the top and then at the bottom. So they're all about the same. Now, if you want bigger feathers, you're going to cut them a little bit longer. All right, so first you can sort out your colors and figure out what colors you want to go together, or you could just mix and match and have a very color, a bunch of very colorful feathers. So here I have chosen my colors. I have my purple, and then I have yellow, green, and a maroon color. So I'm going to start with my first feather and I'm going to lay all of my pieces down in lines and you can add more than eight if you want, but eight is probably about good. Then I'm going to lay my long piece over. It is in half so that the loop top is at the top. Then, super easy, all I'm going to do is tie each strip around. Then you're going to pull them all down together so that they are towards the bottom, but don't slide them all the way off. Now, if you want your feather to be bigger, you're going to need to add some more, but you can adjust that as you go. So if I wanted to add a couple more, I could, depending on how you want your feather to look. If you wanted a fuller, longer feather, you can just add more string depending on how much you have. Then the next thing you're going to do is cut your string in the shape then you this is where you're also going to need maybe a comb or something to um, help brush out all of the yarn so you can unravel the yarn by hand if you wish to make your feather look fuller or you can try to get a comb and just comb it out now if you choose to comb it out make sure you're holding one side really firm and start at the edges. Then if you need to trim it up again, you can. After you've completed one, move on to your next feather. All right, so the last thing, after you've made all of your feathers that you would like to make, you're going to take your wooden dowel and then you're just going to loop the feathers on. And to loop the feathers on, all you have to do is put them underneath, take the loop, pull it through, and pull. And just repeat it with each one, spreading them out however you wish. And some can be longer or shorter depending on the look you want to go for. And then the very last thing you want to do is make the string at the end. So you can pick your longest piece of yarn 
or if you don't have a really long piece of yarn, that's okay. I'm going to tie two of mine together. So first thing I want to do is just wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it around a couple times. Down one end and tie it together. Double knot it. And then take the other one, do the same thing on the other end. And then I'm going to tie it together up at the top. And then you're ready to hang it. Thank you. 